Hi, so we're doing a different angle this week because uh, I don't think it's good that we're always looking like this during the whole video. So we're going to go like this, and we're going to give it a shot. And it's the winter finale for um, Once Upon a Time, mm -hmm. and I'm appropriately dressed because I have my beanie, my hoodie, and we have alcoholic hot cider. It's got a lot of moonshine in it. Perfect. It's a lot of moonshine. Let's we're do this. Fun. Special report. Special report? <gasps> this is an ABC News special report. What the hell? What happened? A presidential address to the nation. <laughs> Barack <laughs> Obama is ruining it. <laughs> Good evening. We are coming on the air right now because President Obama is about to speak to the nation from the Oval Office. For Dude. Only the third time in his presidency. This is only the third time in his presidency. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess this is important. Thank you, Commander-in-Chief Obama. strong and smart strategy. To deal with the terrorist America, the fuck States, yeah, attacks, coming to save the motherfucking day, yeah. Cindy, you said you wanted to be. Your dad's a dick, kid. And now so will you be. Split up. Throw us gathered in the woods. Yeah, splitting up is never a good idea, ever. In any kind of story, you never want to split up, because that's when bad things happen. Oh. Scooby-Doo gang can tell you that. Thanks, Scooby-Doo. Teaching us life lessons. He's not exactly a pirate anymore. Oh, Robin. They're always walking into geese formation. The greater good. Stop saying that. So what do you think? Well, I was kind of, admittedly, when Killian first brought, like, all the Dark Ones back, I was like, eh, how the hell does that work? Because they'd be dead, yo. Like, there's yeah. no way. Um, but this is kind of a little bit more interesting, though I don't think it should be so easy to trade places with someone. But tag your it! Yeah, that, that... I mean, I know, don't get me wrong. This is Once Upon a Time. This is about Anything fairy happen. tales, and yeah. they always get amnesia and everything else like that. But it's just it. It doesn't feel like it should be that easy to, especially when certain spells seem to be so fucking hard. Like a spell to transport transport people from one place to another realm takes uh, the human heart of someone you love the most. But in this, trading, like, your life with someone else, you just go, eh, just touch you. But they're dark ones. Each and every one of them is a dark one, so it's I, effortless for them to do magic. Like, really powerful except magic. Except I think that there shouldn't be a limit in the way that they can spread out all that dark energy. <laughs> I'm just saying. The original dark one... She couldn't exactly take down her loved one. She got taken down, and it passed to someone else. Like, yeah, I just, I feel mm -hmm. like, I feel like you can't have all these dark ones that have the same exact amount of power that they all had when they were alive. Like, yeah, I feel like it's gonna take a toll on the, the dark ones right now, which would include Killian and Emma. Do you think that they're all going to go? No. No. No, but there's a possibility that s maybe someone might. Someone's going to go, because one of the titles for the second half of the season's episodes is called something about... It implies going to hell or something. Something about souls and shit. I think it'll be Her Henry. It's always Henry, but it, it, I mean, that's just how the show well, is. Apparent, well, you saw who gave him the mark, right? Yeah. Oh, it was her. Yes, Fuck. it was. That's good. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I have totally, my moments. I totally agree. I see it being Henry. Do you think yeah. all of them are just Henry? I think... And then just Henry, and honestly. Then, and then Emma and Regina are going to work together to get their son back. Exactly. That's oh, it's going to be great. You're adorable. Sorry. It's all good. But no, I seriously, I think it'll be Henry, especially since you don't know who any of the other Dark Ones are, except for Killian, and he's not dead, so yeah. he shouldn't have a mark. All right. Now they're walking in, like, a weird block formation. How do they coordinate these walking formations? And they're always in the middle of the street. Never the sidewalks. That's unsafe. Oh no! Emma! 
It's going to be Emma. Wow, that tense look. You know that gopher in uh, on YouTube that just goes da da da. <laughs> Why did you look the other direction? You're going to happen. No, that's what you did. That's totally I know. what you did. It was such a dramatic look. I'm feeling a lot of emotions right now. I don't think the moonshine is helping. <laughs> I hope that we get to see the full well, episode since this started 15 minutes late. We better see the, oh my god, if we don't see the last 20 minutes of this episode, I will be really emotionally compromised. Okay, baby. I think I need more to drink. Yeah, I think that, I, I think that Regina said she couldn't be with Emma and the family at Granny's is because she knew that she had to z send Zelina back. And I think also that being around Emma makes her extremely sad because she knows what she has to do, so she's just avoiding it. I, don't, I honestly think that the reason that she would feel bad about what she's doing to Emma is because she thinks that Henry would never forgive her. Mm. I feel like she, she would do it, though. You know, like, she might care about Emma, but she wants everyone, like, Robin and Baby and Henry alive, so she would sacrifice Emma for that. Well, she already promised Emma that she would do it. Mm-hmm. So... so and, and, but I mean, like, <clears throat> I feel like she would be more concerned about Henry's interpretation of what she would do to Emma. But it's a secret. That's why Emma said, don't tell anybody. But so, so Emma is going to sacrifice herself. And pretty much the circumstances of how that all happens and gets resolved, no one's going to know about it. So Henry won't know. It with the, she's going to be spending her time with that family. So how would, how would they not know that Regina was going to kill Emma? I don't know. See, that's the thing. Like, if... Regina's there, then they're gonna know unless Emma like goes somewhere at the very last minute with Regina and she kills her there. I got nothing. I have to decide what kind of man I wanted to be. Well, father, I'm a this dick. Is who I became. I'm a fucking I'm asshole. So Henry. Not Henry. No. Not Henry. Not oh, fucking motherfucker. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> How's the moonshine, honey? The moonshine is amazing. So, what are your thoughts? I, too, feel like she just kind of gave it. And I was like, what? I mean, at the very least, keep a grip on it. Don't just I pass it off. The whole thing about her saving him because she loved him and everything... I don't actually think that she loves him. I think she loved the idea of him and the idea of, like, the whole, like, the house and the family and everything. But because she said that she was afraid of it. But what connection did the two really actually have? What connection does anyone really have with the person that they love? Uh, lots. Like Look at Emma and Regina. They have... Uh, no, I'm serious. I'm serious. They have the relationship built on trust. And they have a long history together. A relationship built on very recent trust. Before Still. That, they were murderous. They fucking tried to kill each other so many times. She baked an apple turnover to totally kill her. And she ended up... Man... And Henry ended up taking it and eating man, it. Man, it is water under the bridge. I just love how you're like, they have a relationship of trust. They do. Regina took that dagger and ordered Emma to No, stay. she didn't. No. She had the dagger, but she didn't force her to do anything. She made her look inside of herself, but she didn't force her to do anything. To save Robin's life. No, she didn't. She actually, she asked. She didn't 
use the dagger to make She asked, and then when Emma said no, Regina took the dagger and said, don't make me force you. I think we're remembering this incorrectly. She didn't do that. Mm-hmm. She didn't. Watch it again, honey. Yeah. Did when Robin know? was dying, she did not take the dagger. Mm-hmm. You're wrong. I guarantee you're wrong. She okay. did not do it. Go ahead. You're yeah, so wrong right now. Right now. We'll you're watch. so wrong. We'll watch it. Yeah, we'll watch it, and I'll prove to you how wrong you are. Okay. Yeah. Jerk. Jeez. How am I a jerk? Hook. I'm not arguing with you. I think Hook's just the biggest piece of shit. Well, that's one thing we can agree on. Jerk. Yeah, jerk. I actually like the way it ended. I like... Okay, I don't like Hook. Everyone knows I don't like Hook. I don't like him at all. Mm -hmm. Except the way that he redeemed himself at the end. I said it, didn't I? I said if he redeems himself, he's gonna die. You did. You called it last week. I did. Good for you. See? Look at you. I'm so smart. <laughs> so pretty, right? So pretty. It's so pretty. <sighs> but no, um, I like I like how it ended. I I think that it's appropriate. I agree. Um, I think that we're going to see another villain, though. And plus, remember this. Uh, think of the fact that um, Zelina was sent away, away from her daughter. Yeah. She might become, like, possibly one of the uh, new, vi uh, new uh, villains. Honestly, I really love Zelina as a villain because she has so much snark yeah. and sarcasm. I fucking love it. But I... I'm not sad to see Hook go. And I think that his departure, albeit I'm sure there's going to be tons of fans who are pissed off about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's... He had a good... He, he, he had a good... Uh, run. Run. And the way it ended, I think, was good. I don't think we're going to see Belle anymore. At least for the rest no, of the I season. Think, I think she's actually going to be in for the second half of the season. Really? I think I, so. You but mentioned I'm, her being preggers. I Yeah. These are things I could be incorrect about. But, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Well, it would make sense because they've been doing it where they only film her from, like, like here up. So, it's a possibility she could be pregnant. And if so, it's possibly... She doesn't want it to be, like, documented. Like, Snow White. Like the one actress? Um, who played Snow White? I can't remember her name. I can't either. But Jennifer? Yeah. Jennifer? I can't remember her name. But no, she's awesome. But yeah, she was totally actually pregnant during the show. <laughs> like, uh, but yeah, um, I think it, I think it was good. I'm, I'm really interested to see who the next villain will be and how they'll transition. I'm interested to see how Rumpel's going to transition. He is no longer the dark one, for one. And for two, he's kind of a hero. Which... Okay, after all the shit you've done, your heart is just wiped clean, and you kill a bear, and then suddenly you're a hero? Well, no, I kind of... Uh, the idea of him being a hero... Like, I, I, want, I want to see that playful trickster... Uh, he was perfect with that. He made oh, fun with it. Wait, wait. So, our internet cut out, and we had to restart the video, and I am not happy with what the fuck is happening right now. Seriously? Seriously? You're going to hell for Hook? And Rumple is a dark one again? Are you fucking kidding me? I cheered when Belle came back and fucking kissed him. I cheered. And he fucking- I'm so pissed! He became the dark one again! Your fucking heart was pure, Rumple! Man, you're going to hell for Hook. Ugh. I God can't. Damn it, Rumple. I can't. We're both upset for different things, but we're Ugh. both upset. God damn it, because he was going to be the right guy. Wait, are they all going to hell? hell? I will find you. I will always find you. Oh, no. Are you kidding? 
What an oil. New neck. Wait, wait, really? Wait. The preview. Preview. <sighs> uh, I don't think I can properly put into words how disappointed I am that she's going to hell for Hook. Meanwhile, you're extremely disappointed that Rumble is the dark one again and deceived Belle. You know what's sad is I was just saying, oh, he's not the dark one. He's not going to be that playful. Like, I liked that little piece of evil in him. But now he's got all the fucking dark one's powers and he lied to Belle again. And I was so happy when she came in and she kissed him. She can tell you. I don't know if that video took, but she can tell you. I fucking cheered and scared the shit out of her. I did, yeah. No. God damn. <sighs> we're both very upset for two different, very, very different reasons. But we're both upset. And from a Swan Queen perspective... What? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the actual fuck? What the actual fuck? We were promised... We were... Okay, I, I use the word promise lightly. We were told there was going to be an LGBT something in the second season. Everything that we've seen this season so far has pointed to Swan Queen for many reasons. And now, after Hook is dead... Happily dead, doing the right thing. Good for him. He's redeemed himself and he's dead. She's going to hell to get him back. Because she will always find him. Because that's the quote that Snow and Charming always say to each other. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. But anyway. Yeah. I got nothing. That's all I got for this Thoris. I got I got nothing. I have nothing. I have nothing left to contribute. I'm gonna walk away. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to as well because I was just I was so fucking happy and then they just crushed my heart. We're both so sad. Yes we are. Anyway, I'm Rachel. I'm Megan. And I'm going to drink more and edit this video and post it. Bye. Until March 6th, everyone, for once upon a time at least. Although we are going to make some videos for the 100, which comes back in January. And I'm super fucking excited for it. Uh, it comes back late January, though. Yes. Uh, but we will be making videos other than that, probably of Megan Gaming or... Something along those lines. Maybe hopes topics. for this. Hopes for the second half of this fucking season. Swan Queen. <laughs> and cut. And scene.